so we'll discuss how to create tables quickly okay so before creating tables again let's discuss about this logical hierarchy so we, we just discussed about physical hierarchy right so in servers okay so let me check whether we have any diagram or not just a minute so you'll get a better idea i should have one diagram okay mm. go to d drive go to d drive sql data drive sql server material 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 folder right okay so now you can see right right so in sql server the hierarchy will be guys can you hear me yes clear okay done yes, yes, so in sql server okay in sql server databases will be there in databases file groups and log files will be there in databases file groups and log files will be there inside the file groups data files will be there two types of data files dot mdf master data file dot ndf new or next data file if you go inside the data file you can see extents extents okay if you go inside the data file you can see extents if you go inside the extent you can see pages okay you can see pages see here 8kb page each page is 8kb size can we resize this page can we change the size of the page yes. can, can we change the size of the page sir uh, i don't want to use 8kb i'll use 16kb can we change it no 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 sir so it's a physical structure guys okay it's a microsoft architecture that is not possible to change the size of the page okay so you cannot change the size of the page so now listen carefully imagine you created a student table on this page like that it is using four pages okay now you are reading the table select star from student whatever pages are there on which pages the table is created all these pages will be loaded inside the memory ram all these pages will be loaded inside the memory ram okay so when you are reading the data the pages the 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 respective pages of that particular table will be loaded inside the memory guys so if the page size is big sir why 8k 8kb i'll give 8mb so if the page size is big while loading the page inside the memory it will take time which will cause performance issues so that's why big that's why the page size is 8kb not 8mb or 8gb and all so if the page size is too small imagine i'll go with 2kb why sir 8kb i'll go with 2kb then instead of one page four pages has to load inside the memory excessive pages will cause performance issues if the page size is big will cause performance issues if page size is small you have to load excessive pages instead of one 8kb page you have to load four 2kb pages four two j 8kb so instead of one page you are loading four pages inside the memory excessive pages also will cause performance issues someone started the video someone someone started the video i cannot see here but someone started the video let me check uh manas manas something manas yeah manas let me stop your video right is it clear guys why 8kb why not we cannot why we cannot change the page size that is the microsoft sql server architecture guys as for the architecture the page size should be 8kb we don't set it we'll never set it automatically sql server will be the the architecture will be designed like that so we don't set the page size and all to 8kb okay so excessive pages will cause performance issues and if the page size is too big also will cause the performance issues what is extent extent means collection of eight continuous data pages collection of eight continuous data pages is called extent 
collection of eight continuous data pages one two three four five six seven eight so what is the size of the extent can anyone tell me size of the extent 64 kb okay 64 kb 64 kb why because collection of eight pages each page size is 8 kb 8 8 ja 64 kb so your size of the extent will be 64 kb your page is nothing but basic storage unit right what is meant by extent what is an extent the collection of uh, eight uh, continuous pages of eight uh, correct pages. okay so page is uh, page is basic storage unit extent is collection of eight continuous data pages agree but another definition is extent is basic allocation unit basic storage unit basic allocation unit basic storage unit basic allocation unit is called an extent what is this what is the difference between storage unit and allocation unit so storage unit means it is going to store the objects right either table or stored procedures or some other things and all it is going to store right so here basic allocation unit means it is going to allocate it is going to allocate that extent when you are creating we have two types of extents uniform extent mixed extent uniform extent mixed extent uniform extent mixed extent okay so forget about this guys as of now don't worry about this let me check whether we have that that diagram okay so fine okay sql server instance in instance databases in databases primary file groups and log files in primary file groups mdf and ndf data files in data files you will have extents in extents you will have pages okay so here basic allocation unit storage means your table is going to store on a particular page right then what is this basic allocation unit when you create a new table sql server will allocate an extent for you okay then you might ask one question sir if it is allocating one page that is 8 kb only if sql server is directly allocating one extent which is 64 kb if my table size is too small then i am going to waste this extent right so here we have two types of extents one is uniform extent second one is mixed extent mixed extent means all the eight pages extent means collection of eight pages right all the eight pages can be stored with the different objects objects or tables i can say mixed extent means all the eight pages can be used to store can anyone tell me Different same object. object. Same, same object. object. So imagine you are creating a student table, guys. First, what SQL Server will do, you know, to save the space, first SQL Server will allocate a page from the mixed extent. There is no wrong in my statement, in my earlier statement. I told it will allocate a page. But from where it will allocate a page? It will allocate a page from the mixed extent. Why? Because to save the storage. In the mixed extent, all the eight pages you can use to store different objects. So page one you can use it for a page one you can use it for student table, page two employee table, page three sales table, some other table. So eight different pages can be used to store eight tables. Okay, extents in SQL Server. Sorry, images. So like this it will be, or else like this it will be see here table one table one uniform extent this is your uniform extent table one 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 this is uniform extent and mixed extent table two index one index two table two table three index three table two table three okay if you see here same okay so if you see here table one your uniform extent contains means the eight pages of all the pay all the particular extent the eight pages of that extent Will be used to store a single object okay in the mixed extent eight pages will be used to store different objects your student table can be stored in all the eight pages in the uniform extent in the mixed extent one student table one employee table one sales table one some other table customer table like that you can use eight uh -huh. so like that eight pages you can use to store eight different tables so when you are creating a 
new table first sequencer will allocate a page from this particular extent it will allocate a page from the extent now now if if sql server treat the table is big subsequent allocations will be from uniform extents only for the first time it will allocate a page from the mixed extent if the table is small it will it will the 8kb page is enough right to store if the table is big then sql server will keep allocating uniform extents to you to your table this will be done this mechanism will be done automatically is it clear guys everyone clear sir just to save the storage sql server will do this if sql server treat the table is big it will allocate a uniform extent if you are creating a small table it will allocate it will allocate first one page from the mixed extent if the if you keep on inserting the data then it don't allocate from mixed extent it will allocate from the uniform extent okay shall you fine clear everyone right let's uh, logical hierarchy right we are discussing uh, physical hierarchy okay so this is as per this diagram so 8k pages will be there and extents will be there so logical hierarchy how the data will be how the table will be stored logically physically how it will be stored sql server inside sql server databases inside databases file groups and log files inside lo uh, file inside file groups will have data files inside data files will have extents inside uh, extents will have pages this is the physical hierarchy and your table will be stored on a page what is the logical hierarchy how logically table will be stored inside the database we will have schemas a logical container okay inside the database will have schemas inside the schemas you will have tables guys that's it logical hierarchy what is the schema schema means you can say it's a container okay schema is a kind kind of a container so in the database generally we'll create different different schemas better uh, swati can you explain if possible swati is there ah huh? uh, swati is there right swati can you help me to explain what is schema i hope you are a developer right that's why i am asking you i can't hear you swati okay chalo bhai it will be an issue i can't hear you okay okay so schema guys can you hear me swati it's the last entry uh, i in uh, pattern ibm what is the schema schema is simple simple definition is it's a logical container okay so in the okay. in, in the in the database will differentiate the data based on the say for example i'll tell you one thing so imagine this is sales database okay imagine this is my sales database so in the sales database or else imagine this is a zomato database in the zomato we have different sections right in the zomato we will have restaurants right we will have restaurants so the restaurants related i'll create restaurant schema and in this restaurant schema i'll store all the restaurants related table restaurant id restaurant name restaurant location okay restaurant code everything i'll store restaurant means i'll group together for the restaurants table i'll group them together and i'll keep it in restaurant schema so that all the restaurants related tables i can create in this schema create in this schema am i audible now hello yes yes yes, 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 yes. okay yeah actually i lost the microphone access so. okay okay yeah right. i can just uh, go so basically like schema is nothing but like a uh, kind like what we are looking into like logical structure right similarly schema is also logical and we will not be able to see it's like a group of uh, different uh, database objects uh, maybe like your table starts from your table then associated with the other uh, uh, objects like your stored crocs then the triggers views and the other indexes these all together will form a schema structure basically you can try to write and uh, you can try to write into the table by passing the commands and everything right so these all things takes place at a logical structure of a schema at a very high level it is a container where some pieces can be stored as a table and uh, indexes and uh, stored procs and the other database objects so you can say collection of database objects guys for each yeah. table will have indexes will have stored procs will have some other extra objects also will be there so one schema is nothing but a collection of 
the table related objects you can say okay so generally in the organization how we will do it generally for example if you go for hr department hr will have one schema will create hr department as a schema under hr department will have some tables salary table we will have and we will have maintenance table we will have that uh, what is that um, um, we have employee codes table so we'll will under this schema under this hr schema will create extra tables extra tables means we'll create the tables under a hr schema so hr schema is a container for storing hr related tables it's a logical grouping guys simply schema is nothing but it's a logical grouping of the object okay Uh, thank you yeah no problem so, so now now that is the logical hierarchy physical hierarchy as discussed and logical hierarchy inside the database will have schema inside the schemas will have tables so do we need to create schema not required so Hello. if you want yes uh, how many schemas will exist in database um number i am not sure i have to check it Um, okay, uh, I guess um, unlimited schema. More than unlimited. one, you can have it, but uh, one schema can be connected to only one database. So one database can hold multiple schemas. Yes. Okay, thank so, you. Number, I'm not sure. I'll check and update you. Okay, so I guess it should be some number should be there, but multiple schemas you can create, but number I'm not sure about it. Why? Sure. Because this comes under development side. We don't concentrate on these things. Okay. okay. चलो लेट्स क्विकली क्रिएट ए टेबल जनरली वी डोंट नीड टू क्रिएट स्कीमा ओके ऑटोमेटिकली बाय डिफॉल्ट वन स्कीमा विल बी क्रिएटेड दैट इज कॉल्ड डीबीओ सो इफ आई डोंट क्रिएट स्कीमा सीक्वल सर्वर विल क्रिएट दिस टेबल्स इन द डीबीओ स्कीमा ओके इफ यू वांट टू क्रिएट स्कीमा यू कैन क्रिएट स्कीमा वेरी सिंपल क्रिएट स्कीमा स्कीमा नेम यू कैन गिव इट ऑटोमेटिकली स्कीमा विल बी क्रिएटेड एंड यू कैन क्रिएट योर टेबल्स इन दैट पर्टिकुलर स्कीमा गाइस सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू क्रिएट एनी स्कीमा ऑन ऑल generally in the organization also will create tables under dbo schema only that's a default schema we will get it so let's create a table very simple guys listen carefully whenever we want to write any queries first of all you have to open one query window how to open right click new query or you have an option called new query so when you click on this new query window so you can see one session sql server will allocate a session for you this is your work area hey user hey administrator or hey suresh hi monica this is your work area you have to work in this area whatever queries you want to write you have to write it in this area and you have to execute it some other guy is trying to create some other tables or some other you want to execute some other queries and all sql server will allocate muni wants to execute some other queries sql server will allocate another session for muni sql server will allocate another so like that we have 30 participants in this class If everyone wants to work with the SQL Server, you have to click on New Query window. So SQL Server will allocate one work area for you. You have to complete your whatever work you are you have. You want to execute some queries, you can execute in your work area, and you can close that particular work area. That is called session. That is called session. What is that, guys? Session. Yes, so sir. you are going to write your queries in session, guys. Okay. So this is one session or process, you can say. now i want to write queries right so what is the command very simple command what i want to do i want to create okay create is one keyword okay create what i want to create table table name i want to create a table create table what table i want to create table name sales my sales. table name is sales okay now you have to see generally normally if you are creating table in the excel sheet also what you will do you will give some column names right if you are creating a yes, table yes. you will give some column names right so what can be general columns in the sales table sales id order. sales okay. id order sales id or order id whatever it might be guys listen carefully i gave you one assignment okay i asked you to hey go to this kirana shop and i want okay um, uh, milk or i want oil so what is your next question If I, if I simply I said I want oil, I want what will be your next question? Quality, like what is the quantity, quantity and quantity. Right? you will ask right how much quantity you want? I just said I need apples. You will ask next question how many apples? Kg, two kg, dozen, two dozen. The price, the price right? of it. So quantity you have to mention, right? So what is that quantity? If it is, please please be muted. I am getting some disturbance. So if it is some quantity, if it is oil, you will tell in terms of kgs. if it is fruits 
some areas in cities and all it will be in cages some areas in villages if you go it will be like a, a dozens kind of the stuff okay so if i said water liters right every item will have its quantity right unit right i can say it's a unit right so in the same way every column will have a unit that unit is called data type what type of data it has to accept what type of data it has to accept if i say water i cannot say two kgs of water right i have to say two liters of water only the liter the word liter is the exact unit of water i cannot say two dozens of coconut oil right you have to mention that unit what unit you want in the same way every column what type of data i have to accept that is called data type we have different data types okay for for representing numbers we have different data types for representing names we have different data types for representing date and time you have different data types for representing weight we have different data types for representing money we have different data types so each column will have a data type so sales id id can be generally number right student id sales id employee id these these are numbers only right if you want to give numbers means this column has to accept numbers then what we have to give guys we have one data type called integer which is the shortcut of int int data type we have to give int int means, yeah int means it will accept numbers so you gave int guys okay you gave int sometimes while while purchasing anything in the website you will try to enter the address in the address numbers will be there sometimes you don't take the numbers in the address road number 5 something like that if you give it don't why because the developer doesn't designed it properly address has to accept numbers door number will be there street number will be there road number will be there right so in the same way id means generally integer means numbers should be there so i am going to give integer as a data type guys don't worry about it we don't create any tables in the organization it's the responsibility of the developers but you should know how to create tables okay integer so in the same way we have different different data types guys integer character var char var char max var binary max var cat to no var binary max uh, date time date and time money float double okay and what else what else guys text and text. real 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 yes okay so these are different different data types guys if you see a blue color it's a keyword if you see a blue color it's a keyword guys okay if you see black color that is the name that you are giving manually if you see a blue color means that is a keyword okay so coloring also there they don't give it for beautification and all so coloring blue color means it's a keyword create is a keyword it's a command kind of thing table is a keyword sales in black color why you are giving the name manually so it's in black color so every column has to accept one data type numbers generally will give integers names okay item name so num generally names you can give character or var char okay what i'll give i'll give var char of how many uh, bytes will be there in that name so i am going to 10, give 10 520 okay so imagine my name is very big or the item that you want to purchase the name is very big something french dish is there so that is like the name is very big so if you give 100 means 100 characters it will accept up to 100 characters it will accept now cost cost generally what is the data type for cost guys no integer check here check here integer. we have a separate data type called money you can give integer also you can give integer you can give float okay decimal you mm. can give we have one more thing called decimal okay decimal means 59 paisa 60 uh, 59 rupees 60 paisa or 500 rupees 50 paisa like that right decimal also you can give but generally we have a data type called money so i'll give money data type that's it guys i am going to give three columns first column is sales id second column is every column you have to separate with a comma second column item name third column cost every column should contain data type okay chalo guys clear any questions any doubts here please any doubts so now where i am going to create my table 
yes. sir instead of uh, we can we use currency also as a data type yeah yeah you can use see if it is supporting you can use currency also no issues okay fine guys so again we are not going to decide what data types and all we have to give i'm i'm not sure about these data types and all developers will take care of it you don't need to take care of it okay guys as the db will never create in case if they are asking you to create a table ask them can you please forward me the script i'll execute they will give you the script all text that's it copy the script paste the script all text okay so we'll never create a table don't worry about it okay so don't worry what data type i have to choose and all okay don't worry okay we'll have very big tables so it's a simple one line query to create a table right in the organization only to create a table 200 300 lines query will be there okay so don't think we have to write the whole 200 lines of query not required okay they will take care of it we have to execute sometimes if they don't have permissions we have to execute now i want to execute query how to execute either i can click on execute button i can just use all text button but before executing i want to check whether this query is right or wrong so this is called parse button parse button you can see check mark tick mark okay parse button if you click on this parse button it will tell you whether the query is right or wrong command completed successfully means it's right i'm wanted i'm giving error see if any error is there you can see red mark under this okay see till now there is no red mark red mark and when i when i gave wrong syntax now there is no red mark when i gave wrong syntax and all now you can see red mark this is one way of okay identifying the errors okay if you can see a red line means that means there is a problem now if i want to check it whether this query is right or wrong if i just executed see unknown object tabl used in create drop or alter statement it don't tell you hey table spelling is correct you don't know you don't have common sense you don't know the spelling of table it don't scold you like that it will simply tell you okay you used some unknown object type tabl okay so like that you can see guys this is this this key this button will help you to parse the script if you don't run this while executing also it will give you the same error okay so you can skip this but before executing generally if you want to check a 200 line script is there don't know where is the error instead of instead of executing directly just parse it you will came to know whether there any errors are there in that particular script okay clear so now let me correct this one now i want to execute guys listen carefully now if i execute where the table will be created where the table will be created under data uh, here uh, that in uh, ma under master database sir master yes very good okay so listen carefully very 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 important whenever you are executing any query as a dba what you have to do cross check where you are executing query how to cross check check here on which database you are executing query on master database master you can check here also on which database you are executing query on master database you are executing whenever you are executing queries this is very basic principle if you don't know by mistake you created table in the master database that will be your last day in the organization believe me that will be your last day in the organization the thumb rule before you click on execute there is an execute button here there is a database here just have a look on which database this query is going to execute here which database is there the query will be executed in the database instead of deleting one table in from one database by mistake you executed drop table table name from one more database another database that will be your last day in the organization believe me service based companies don't tolerate these kind of small issues you cannot say in overlook i executed in overlook they will give you the pink slip that's it okay so very important guys before executing before executing before executing on check on which database you are executing this query now i want to execute this query in the zomato but i am executing this query in the master okay which is wrong right so i have to change the database how can we change it you can change in two ways which is gui way select this select zomato we have command also use database name use master you can execute this again the database will be changed to master see here i have two commands here i want to execute only single command select the command and execute select the command and execute if you don't select the command what will happen 
both statements will be executed now if i click execute both statements will be executed okay so select the command execute in this way the, the master database change it to zomato now i want to execute so in the zomato i don't see any tables right now you can see any tables are there no tables are there if tables are there you can see here under this drop ledger table you can see here okay so now i am going to create a table in the zomato select the command before executing check it parse it yes correct execute it so done command completed successfully where i can see my table guys i don't see the table what i have to do refresh sir refresh 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 see here see here the first part is dbo which is schema i didn't created a schema but by if you don't create a schema by default sql server will create a schema which is dbo database object dot table name sales table my table name is sales right schema name dot table name clear guys how to create table very simple create table table sir i don't remember this kind of uh, uh, um, uh, command and all show me a simplest way right click new table what table you want to create customer okay column name customer id type of data see here how many data types are there see see how many data types bit okay xml time small Hello. money real yes yes i have on dot and uh, and on table is uh, creating mm, no show the structure display structure i didn't get Hello. your question yes 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 tell me uh, uh, so for example on table is uh, ravi table is creating ravi is creating a table Mm, yes. Or you are creating a table name called Ravi. Ah, yes. You are creating a number table name called Ravi. Rows. Okay. Uh. Mm, number of columns rows are creating. Okay. Uh, row ID, uh, Ravi ID, Ravi salary, employee ID. Okay. okay. Someone show the structure. Qu write the query. Write the query. You want me to write the query? Hmm. Why? Now tell me why why you need that query first of all. Exactly, okay. I don't know. Uh, so why you need that query first of all? You are asking. I need a, so first of all decide what columns you want to include. Okay, what you can do? Okay. Take a white paper or notepad. What column? You cannot say that column, this column, or uh, just decide what columns you want. Then based on that, not to see there is no specific query for Ravi, Ramesh, Suresh. or you will create that, first that table is the sample table name. that's what will create table first i don't create okay. only for one record you will create table okay only for one record we don't create table right so we'll create a student table in that student i'll add ravi column ravi record got okay. the point so now this is a customer table in the customer table if you want me to add ravi record i can add it Okay, I'll show you. Now I just created a structure. I haven't inserted any values in that. We don't, guys. We don't create any tables for single record. Once table is created, we'll keep adding the data. Okay, right. I'll show you. I'll show you how to insert Ravi record in that particular table. I'll show you. Okay, customer ID, uh, customer name. Okay, you can give any column names. Okay, and where care of. Fifty something like that. Okay, customer location. Again, it can be where care of fifty. Okay, and that's it, guys. Now I want to save this table. Okay, you don't know the query, right? So I can give like this column name. I can and I can select the data types. Now I want to save this. Click on this save button. Now you will get table name customer. Okay, click OK. Done. Close it. Now table is created. Okay, refresh it. you can see the new table customer table now here i want to insert some records as he is asking okay i want to insert some records edit now you ask about ravi right so i'll give ravi customer id is equal to 1 customer name ravi customer is from vizag okay right and you will save it right now second record 
i want to insert second record okay so saving means this is saving like this not required okay so no need to save just close it automatically it will be saved now second record second and here suresh and he is from hyderabad okay now third record sayed okay from bangalore okay so fourth record something like maunika okay from hyderabad so like that how many records you want you can insert okay right once this is done you can close it done guys okay now i want to see the records in this table you can either open the table like this select top 1000 rows or you can give select query select star from table name also you can give okay select star from table name also you can give my table name is customer okay so select star from table name also okay will give you the results can you see now ravi this is what you are asking ravi no i returned as malli i think malli as malli ha ah, okay okay right malli is it clear malli yes yes okay fine okay guys this is how generally so the gui way of creating a tables and inserting records now i want to insert records using command okay insert into the see guys generally we don't use either gui or command based to create or insert and all generally we are not part of this activity developers will do or directly data will come from the application so in case if you want to know the commands insert into table name sales what you want to insert i want to insert values sales id 1 item name something like pizza okay and cost 300 close it enter control c control v okay control v control v control v control v now like that i want to insert five records second record something like thumbs up okay something like a 60 third record something uh, burger okay 300 next fourth record again i want to insert okay so uh, chicken noodles 400 okay so fifth record fifth record so what is this some um, biryani okay 300 so now if we want to execute can we insert another row like as column column that is called column yes mohan ras you can alter the table at any point of time you can add extra columns you can delete the existing columns also you can do that mohan ras you can do to the existing table you can add columns you can delete the columns okay so now i want to execute right so you can select all the lines and you can just parse it and you can execute it parse means it will tell you whether right or wrong and before executing what i will do what is the command to read the table command to read the table describe table name mm. to view the structure of table not structure of the table i want to see the records in the table select star from select table name very good okay so select one minute i guess select star from table name what is the table name sales right sales. sales select star from table name is sales okay so select star from table name sales if you see here one minute huh? so are re re hmm so select star from table name so i want to execute select star from table name so let's execute select uh, select star from table name so it is showing invalid object name sales it is showing invalid object name sales we have created sales table right but why i am getting invalid object name sales but you are using use master so it will use so what happened if i use master i can't pull the um, uh, sales table details no it is not there in that no we saved differently that one 
very good okay so guys here i created my sales table in the zomato and you are searching your table in the master database just now we discussed whenever you are executing a query whenever you are executing a query you have to check on which database you are writing this query so my table is there in the zomato but you are searching in the master database you just kept your bike keys in the hall and you are searching in the kitchen right so now i have to change the database i am not going to confuse you guys okay i just want to clear you so there is no records as of now i haven't inserted these records there is no records you can see a blank table now i want to record inserts and now i want to insert the records select all the records and execute chalo done each row one row affected one row affected one row affected one row affected so now if you execute this command now you can see five records clear how to insert the records inside the table how to create a table is it clear everyone perfect sir any questions perfect. guys please guys is it clear or any questions please i'm i'm i need a response from everyone why because it's important even clear. though we don't yes, do it, it's, it's it's good to know the subject guys okay even though we, we generally don't involve in this kind of activities but it's good to know the subject <laughs> Okay. Sir, we can do both the ways, right? Like uh, graphical uh, user interface or the yeah, command yeah, yeah. also. Both yes, are yes, same. Yes, both are same only. Okay, okay. Both. So now you want to open the record. You want to. Uh, I have the one table. question. Yes. Now I have a quick question oh. for all of you. I have a quick question for all of you. I have ten thousand records in my table, sales table. Okay. Now if I use this option, how many records I can see? Top ten thousand, sir. Thousand. Top thousand rows only. So when you use this option, you cannot say how many rows you have. Generally, it will show you how many rows are there in the table. Okay? If you see only thousand rows, don't think only thousand rows. Why? Because you are using GUI way, which is showing top thousand rows. You are reading, you are selecting top thousand rows. Even though you have one lakh records, you can pull only thousand rows. I want to pull all the records in the table. What query I have to use? Tell star from. Star, star. There is a command called star. Star means all the columns. Star means all the columns. If you are pulling all the columns, automatically all the records you can get it, guys. Clear? How to read the? What is the command to read the table? What is the command? Select, select command. Star, I have to select use. Star, select select star, star, star means all the columns from from which table? Table name. okay from which table table name so you can see like this so customer table right so i just wrongly mention okay so you can you can read the table using select query guys select query will be used to read the data or tables insert query will be used to insert the records inside the table create query will be used to create objects alter query will be used to change the object drop query will be used to drop the things delete query will be used to delete the records okay clear yes. clear guys yeah any other questions here please one so question now, ask you yes 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 please please how to see the uh, structure of the table you want to see the structure of the table uh, yes yes uh, uh, yes Yes, SP underscore help table table name will give you the structure. Don't exist the table jam at customer customer right? I gave you customer. Ah, the book. Okay, so you can use only structure, not records the columns only structure. See, these are not records and columns. This is structure only. Okay. 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 You don't see any record. Can you see any records here? we have different oh, record no, sorry sorry okay okay perfect so when this table created what is the name of the table who is the owner of the table okay, what is okay. the type of the table what are the columns are there this is called right structure yes yes okay so you can use sp underscore help table name okay the command is sp underscore help will give you and you have to give the table name so in that way you can see the structure of the table 
sir can so we use describe you. also for this i'm not sure describe i'm not sure okay why because uh, again we have different uh, uh, sql flavors are there sql plsql okay i'm not sure describe i don't think it will work see here you can see error is coming okay sir. this is not working yes yes how many queries sorry how many queries in that how many queries are there <laughs> How many queries are there? Even I am also not sure. How many queries are there? It depends upon your uh, requirements. Okay, so lot of queries are there. Depends seal. That's a language. If I if I if I ask you, how many Telugu words are there? Right. Generally, the used words can be thousand or two thousand, but we have lot of words are there in the same way. That's a language. SQL is a language. Depends upon your requirements. Lot of queries are there, and how you are going to use the language? Hi. Lot of words are One there. One question. Yeah. Yes, yes, please. Insert into table name evaluation. This is one type. Ah, uh, other uh, other type. Main wow. one. Hello. Um, sorry, Malay. Can you please tell me in Telugu? No problem. But okay, I appreciate that you are trying. But uh, you can you can tell me in Telugu, or just you can rephrase it. Insert method la insert into table name. Ide okay method la different method la onde yani adu thuna. Means insert query only we have only one type of insert query or we have different types of insert query. Mm. See, two ways. One is you can use insert query. Insert query means insert query only. Okay, so mm. there is no other insert query. You have to use the same structure. You don't understand other structure. Insert into table name only. You have to give even though that you are doing it from GUI or you are doing it from command. Insert into table name. That is the only format we have. There is no other format. Might be you might heard about some other SQL language like we have PLSQL. Okay, I guess in PLSQL also same command will use insert into table name values one will give. So in SQL Server, especially in T SQL, we have only one type. So the format is insert into table name values. We have to give values in the columns. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Someone is asking doubt. इंपोर्टिंग so here it will ask you the source and destination source you have to choose the excel sheet and destination you have to choose the sql server database and then you can attach that excel sheet you can browse the excel sheet and then you can select the excel sheet and you can select the columns and all you can happily load the data from your excel sheet to sql server or you want to export the data from sql server to an excel sheet that is called export so that also we can do microsoft excel Okay, and then you have to give the path. Where is your Excel sheet? And all you have to give the path. You have to select that Excel sheet. Next, you have to choose the destination, and you have to select the database. So automatically, it will create a table with that Excel sheet data inside the particular database. Yeah. Any other questions, guys? Any other questions? any other questions no questions but again don't worry about the commands again okay you generally will use select query guys 99% will use select query select star from table name will use where condition also in the evening class i'll tell you how to filter the records using where condition and all okay so where condition how to use where condition i'll also tell you so imagine i have 1 lakh records i want to filter specific records right filtering right i want to go to hyderabad From Bang Bangalore to Hyderabad, I want to go. What we'll do? We'll go for Red Bus. We'll open Red Bus application and we'll choose okay Sleeper. We'll select Sleeper class. We'll select Multi Axle Bus Multi Axle. We'll select some so and so night evening six to night twelve o'clock buses. We'll select. We'll apply some filters. Initially, when you search buses from Hyderabad to Bangalore, you will get fifty buses, right? When you are applying the filters. okay i want sleeper only when you are applying some extra filter 
out of 50 buses 30 buses are sleeper buses you can see 30 buses again in this 30 buses i want to check the buses that are starting from evening 6 o'clock to night 12 o'clock you can apply that filter so out of 30 buses again you can see 20 buses that doesn't mean the data is not deleting it's filtering you are doing a shopping in the azure in the azure you want to buy one t-shirt you just went to azure shop or you just went to azure uh, website and you just selected men's t-shirt you can see 20,000 products are there then you selected excel's t-shirt blue color t-shirt okay and you selected some other age group sandal you selected so based on your selection the 20,000 t-shirts will comes to 10,000 10,000 t-shirts can 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 come to 5,000 and sometimes it can come to 1,000 t-shirts also you are filtering you are not deleting initially you saw 20,000 t-shirts now you can see 1,000 t-shirts why because you are applied you applied some filters based on the filters the data is filtered right so out of 1 lakh records I want to see specific records I want to see all the employees from Hyderabad I want to see those who are earning more than 20,000 salary I want to see those who are whose name is some Suresh or Ramesh so you can apply filters and you can pull the records so that is called the filtering so the, in the evening session I'll tell you simply you have to use wear condition you have to use wear condition simply you have to use wear condition so in this way you can filter the records that will be discussed in the evening session and for sure I didn't get time yesterday to change the meeting link for sure by today evening the meeting link will be changed guys okay fine sir I have one doubt yes please uh you told uh, to import uh, Excel sheet or uh, mm -hmm. Excel file to a server, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, for that, uh, uh, if there is any mismatch in the column um, type see, or data see, type. That, that, that we can, uh, while uploading the data, it will give you column names and all. If you want to change the columns, you can change the column names also. Okay, then we can save it. Yeah, right? yeah, we can, we can do that. Because in Excel, usually we will not mention the field. Yes, data, uh, data types and all. Yes, agreed, agreed. We can change it. Okay, sir. Yeah. And it is an intelligent system. It will treat and it will, as per the column names, numbers and all, it will, by itself, will give the column names and data types and all. We don't do anything. But there is a present to change also. Yes, please. Sir, I have one question. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, actually, in the SQL installation, um, uh, we have two type of, right, uh, default uh, name register. and name register. Yes, yes. And uh, if we install in named instance, uh, mm. after that, uh, can we revert to the default instance? No, 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 we cannot do that. See, we can install default instance, we can install named instance, okay? But uh, if you install named instance, can I change that named instance to default instance, right? You're asking? Yeah, yeah. We cannot change it. One instance to another instance, we cannot change it. Default, default only, named, named only. You can work with both the instances. But you cannot change default to named or name it to default. That is not possible. Okay. Extra features so we can add. We can add extra features. Yes. At any point of time, we can add extra features. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions, guys? Yeah. Hmm. Done. Okay. So this recording will be tomorrow's tomorrow uh, yesterday's recording and today's recording will be available by today evening or tomorrow morning, guys. Okay. Chalo. So that's it from my side and uh, we'll connect in the evening at 7 p.m. Okay. Right, guys. You will get a new meeting links. Okay. Chalo. Thank you, guys. Thank you all. Thank you all. <coughs> Thank you, sir.